there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World. Today we're in Rio de Janeiro and if you're going to be coming to Rio, this video is to kind of give you some uh, tips on what you should know before you come to Rio. We have another video just on Brazil in general, but this one is specifically for coming to Rio because it is a great place with the views and the, the beaches and the Christ and Sugarloaf and all kinds of great stuff. But let's get started. Let's start with what you're going to bring when you come here. It's about clothing. Look, when you come to Brazil and you come to Rio, there are some security issues here, so you don't want to dress up. But we kind of recommend is dress like you're going to the beach okay because then if you know what you probably will be going to the beach so you can just take your stuff off and go and helps you kind of dress down a level you will see the the cariocas the people of rio some of them will dress up more but they're locals they know that the trips the tips and all those things you don't you're a tourist okay so dress down so what you want to pack have your sunblock have your <laughs> have your sunblock have your bug spray, especially if you're coming in the summer because the sun can be really beating down a lot and the bug spray can be a bit much. Also, you want to bring your patience when you come here because you're going to need a, night, a lot of time because things take a bit longer here. But also, bring some Havaianas. Bring your flip-flops, you know. Your old, you know, good old flip-flops you used to have. You can get them here really cheap as well. No big deal. But make sure you pack those things. And obviously some swim trunks. And you can pack your old Speedos if you want because they show a lot of skin here. Now, when you fly into Rio, what you need to know is there's actually two airports. There's the one if you're flying from the U.S. or abroad. Usually you're coming into G.I.G. That's Galeo. That's what they kind of call it. That is anywhere from 35 minutes to 90 minutes outside of town, depending on traffic. Um, if you're flying within Brazil, you might fly into Galeão, the GIG one, or Santos Dumont, which is the one that's really downtown. It's a great one to fly into, but there's not a lot of flights there like there used to be. When you do come here, you're going to be looking for different hotels and stuff like that. There's a lot of hotels, there's a lot of hostels, there's a lot of variety in prices and location. Make sure when you're doing your research before you come, look for ones that are going to be in safe parts of town. Uh, we actually stay here in Leme when we come because it is a safer part. It's connected to Copacabana Beach but it's a safer beach, more family friendly stuff. Granted my kids are fighting so I guess that's one of the dangerous things here. Um, but you want to look at that. In your hotel, a couple things you should know. The toilet paper, you throw the toilet paper in the trash next to the toilet because the pipes here can't really take all the toilet paper. Also, don't expect to have a bath when you're here. Brazilians take showers, so you're going to have showers all the time, not baths. Now, the next thing you will look at are the plugs when you're in the hotels. Now, in Brazil, there's a wide variety you might run into, but now they have official new plug. It's like a European plug with the two circle things, but it's got a middle circle thing. If you have a plug from Europe or an adapter for a European plug, that's what you're going to plug in with. But the electricity here actually runs the same level as the U.S., so that can be an issue. But if you have your phone, your laptop, your iPad, things like that, they already have that converter in their box. You can just plug it in. But you remember, it's three, it's called an end plug. It's got three three plugs like this. Um, but sometimes if you're going to like an older hostel, you might actually see ones that actually have the U.S. two flat things and two circle things at the same time. So just be ready for that. But your general safest bet, the two circle European plugs, okay? So another thing when you're here in Rio, you want to know where you're going to get money, what kind of money you're going to use. Here in Brazil, they use the real. Um, it comes into bills and coins. The bills, so there's a hundred, a fifty, a twenty, a ten, a five, and a two real bill. Um, and then there's coins. There's a one real coin, a 50 centavo coin, 25 centavo coin, 10 and 5. You don't see the coins too much outside of the 25 and 50 cent piece and the one real piece. Um, I will say though, when you're going to get your money out, exchanging money at the bank can take a long time. So you're going to use ATMs. But make sure you use ATMs that are in the bank or places so you're going to be kind of secure. You don't want to do it at night when it's dark or alone, okay, because that is a safety thing. But go into your ATM go into the ATM, the Caixa Automatica, that's gonna be your best bet. You also use your debit card from your bank in the US. Make sure you tell your bank and your credit card company you're coming to Brazil, because that will red flag it right away, and you should be okay. Also, credit cards, you can use credit cards a lot of places around here for hotels and stuff like that. It seems to be better in Rio than other parts of Brazil, um, but I will say, someone will say, we only take debit cards or Visa debit cards, so you do wanna have some cash around uh, taxis, a lot of the taxis do take credit card, but it's not always the machines working, so just know you know that. Anyway, let's go see some more of cool Rio because 
is beach. You don't need to see the the the, the Kai Shot Devante guy. So you're looking at what you're going to be doing here. Well, one thing you want to do is obviously come to the beaches, okay? Copacabana Beach, which is right down here. Leme, a nice safe beach. Ipanema is another good beach to go to. Leblon. There's obviously tons of beaches to see when you are here. What I would do is ask your hotel, which beaches are best for me to go to as a tourist? And they'll be a little bit more helpful with that. Now, when you come to the beach, you don't really put your beach towel down. You get a sarong or a conga is what they call it here. You have a little beach wrap. Also, there's guys out here that will rent you beach chairs and to walk by and sell beer and all kinds of stuff like that. So that's something you can do when you come here. Make sure you do put on your sunblock. As you can tell, it is kind of warm and sunny. And we're here in July, the dead of winter in Brazil, okay? But the thing is, it's not just beaches when you are here. But there's the other two main things you want to see. One, you want to go up and see the Christ, right? The Christ the Redeemer up on the, tr up on the, the hill. Yes, you want to go take the train up there to see that. Go early in the morning, or if it's cloudy, don't go at all because in the afternoon it gets kind of busy. Sugarloaf is also really cool to see, but also there's a lot of history around here. You can go to the History Museum, you can go to the Museum of Modern Art because this was the capital of Brazil till 1960. The Portuguese court actually came here in the 1800s, so there's a lot of stuff to do here. And there's actually some good day trips. You can go to Ilha Grande to see that there. You can go to Petrópolis to see another historic city as well. So there's plenty of really cool stuff to do when you are here. Now, other things you should know when you come here is the boys are having a good time, but if you're a little bit older and you want to have a good nightlife, there's plenty of bars and clubs and stuff to go to for a good time. Um, I will tell you though, here in Rio, there's not a lot of English spoken, so you want to make sure you know a little Portuguese, um, or if you're going to be taking taxis around, which I really recommend because the taxis are cheaper, and the bus and the metro sometimes aren't the safest, so you want to be careful with those, so just take a cheap taxi around, but write down where you want to go, or have your hotel write down where you want to go and where you're coming back to, so you can just give it to the taxi driver and you'll be okay because English, not super popular here outside of the hotel staff. The last thing I want to talk about are specific safety things for here in Rio. Like I talked about, um, it's not the safest place in the world, but it's not as bad as they, they say on, uh, online and stuff like that. Few easy things, don't wear a lot of flashy jewelry, don't bring them with you, don't dress up really fancy because you're going to make yourself a target. Um, don't go to the beaches when it's dark, that's not a good idea, or really early in the morning, you never know what's going to be out there. And the thing is, if someone's robbing you, just give it to them. Don't fight back, don't worry about it, just here you go. That's why when you're going out, leave your stuff in your hotel safe, your passports, your credit cards, stuff like that. Take out what you want or you're okay with losing for that day, and that's, then you don't have to worry about it. Like, here you go, man, no big deal. And that's the thing is, you don't want to take the chances with it. If you're coming to the beach, just bring money for, for getting your beach chair and a few drinks, and you'll be fine. So be smart, just like you go anywhere else in the world. Obviously, the bigger sites, you're more likely to see pickpockets and stuff. But just be smart, you will have a great time. Brazil's a fantastic place. Rio is maravilhosa. You will really enjoy it, marvelous. So I hope that helps you out. So if you want to learn more about coming to Rio, 10 things that'll shock you about Rio, 10 things that'll shock you about Brazil, uh, five things you love and hate about here, hand gestures you shouldn't use, don't use the okay sign, that's bad, use thumbs up all the time. Check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions, and we hope you have a great time here in Rio because it is maravilloso. So, adeus from Rio. Bye.